What's going on guys, GCDZ here, back with another Let's Talk. So I want you to think comic book wise right now. Villains running freely, killing people, destroying the city, and just creating nothing but chaos. Now usually that doesn't happen so often as Superman is around, but what happens when the Man of Steel isn't flying around and protecting the streets from the evil out there? What happens when people lose the sight of the symbol of hope on that man's chest? Well our young superhero Billy Batson aka Shazam has asked himself these questions and thought real hard about the world without Superman. Shazam knew that the world would be in jeopardy without a Superman around to save it, and now he has a plan. Today we'll be talking about the Superman Features End one shot. Before I get into the comic, if you are currently reading the new 52 Features End series currently on issue number 24, I would recommend picking up this one shot, because it does tie in with that series. As I said in one of my other Let's Talk, I said that we finally saw who was going around in a weird Superman suit with a mask over his face. Our famous Shazam. Lois Lane put it all over the news in the world and people want to know why he's dressing as Superman and where the actual Superman is. If he's alive that is. Well those two questions we readers wanted answered are finally revealed. We can obviously see what this comic one shot will be about from the motion cover on the comic. It shows the actual Superman in one motion getting struck by lightning, and that mask suited Superman in the other picture. So let's get into the comic. Lois Lane goes to Billy's apartment after he was flying to save a couple of kids from a burning building, and he tells the firefighters to let it burn. Now if you were one of those firefighters, wouldn't you expect him to put out the fire, maybe with his cold breath or something? But that's not the case, because he's not the real Superman. But they don't know that, some of them at least. Yeah, he just lets it burn to the ground. So when Lois meets with Billy, she knows he doesn't want to talk about her since she exposed him and showed that he really isn't a Superman and that there really isn't a Superman out there. She apologizes to him and as a friend, not a reporter, but as a friend, asks why he's doing this act. In the one shot, we see Shazam and my all-time favorite villain Black Adam fighting the Parademons side by side, which is odd, right, due to them being arch enemies? After the victory, Black Adam of course betrays Shazam and is about to take his powers and get it for himself to be even stronger. To all you comic fans out there, if you didn't know already, anybody given powers from the wizard Shazam may give, share, and even get their powers taken from them from another Shazam wielder. Now before Black Adam could take his powers and kill him, Superman stops Black Adam and sends him to the Phantom Zone. If you've been reading the actual Future Zen series, again, this is why when Frankenstein was in the Phantom Zone for a minute, he was being attacked by Black Adam, surprisingly, in there too. From that moment, Shazam knew that when Superman went missing so suddenly, he would have to do what Superman did for him, save the world. As I said before, Billy told Lois that the world would be safer seeing that Superman was flying around to save people from danger. A Superman, that is. But now that Lois has exposed that Shazam was actually going around disguising himself, will the people begin to panic? Will they think that not even Shazam can be enough? Billy knows that he is not Superman, but he knows in his heart that himself and himself alone can make a difference. So now to the second question, where is the actual Superman? Lois has asked him this a couple of times, and now he finally answers her question. Now I kind of figured it was going to be this answer, but let's get on to it. When she asked him this, he told her I don't know. The last time Shazam saw Superman was when he saved him from Black Adam. He told Shazam that he had to find someone, and was never heard from again. Billy tells her that there are some people out there that know where he may be or may be going, yet they won't tell anybody. But why? Why won't they tell others? Is the Man of Steel done saving the world? Did the Earth-1 and Earth-2 war change who he is inside? We still don't know where Superman is. I guess we'll find out what happened to Superman as the Future Zen actual series continues. I actually really loved how this one shot ended. Every time Billy suits up, it's as Superman lately. But Lois now made him want to show his true colors. Lately, Billy thinks that the S stood for something better than his lightning bolt. Yet Billy decides to suit up as Shazam again. Billy figures that maybe a new suit will change the way people think. That the lightning bolt can be just as equal to the hope symbol. Billy may be immature even when he is transformed to the great Shazam. However, he can fight, help people as he has before, and become a bigger icon in people's eyes than he can ever dream of. What comes to mind after reading this one shot is why is this comic named Superman Future Zen? 
Even though this is clearly about Shazam and why he was disguising himself as Superman. I guess it's the part when someone saw him for the last time. The thing about this comic is that you kind of feel bad for Billy. Just like Superboy, he wants to be looked at the same way people look at Superman. But to him, Shazam might as well be a ghost in the world. He feels that people think, who the hell is this guy? And Billy really shows Lois and even us readers his real feelings on who he turns into. It is kind of sad that Shazam can be even more powerful than Superman if he really pushes his limits. Yet he feels that pretending to be someone other than himself is better. That's why he's suiting up as Superman also. So we can kind of relate to Billy. We put on a mask to make people happy when we would rather be ourselves and still make people happy. Or in Billy's case, make people feel safe again. I recommend buying this comic as I said if you are reading the actual Futures End series. If you don't get it or forgot, go buy it because you are missing a wonderful one shot and a half part of the actual series. I really love this comic, yet I feel that they should have included more content on what happened with Superman and why he's gone, but this was necessary too. The artwork in this comic was pretty beautiful, with the suit, the theme, the background, and even the transformations when they show Shazam going to Billy, to Superman, and his regular Shazam suit. You can really tell that they put a lot of effort into the transformation, you can even see through the lightning, him changing from one person to the other suit. So I thought the artwork was pretty good too. They have a little bit of action like when Shazam and Black Adam are fighting the parademons and when they're about to kill each other of course. But the action was pretty brief, mainly because this comic one shot is about Billy talking to Lois Lane about why he's dressing up as Superman, going around saving people, and where the actual Superman is. Which his answer was of course, that he doesn't know. So like I said, we might know later on in the actual Futures End series. Well thanks guys for watching, tune in next time for the Flash Futures End, and I'll see you soon. Later dudes.